there's a myth out there about evidence-based practice. Many people think that if a healthcare institution provides content, such as Cochrane or Mosby, up to date, Ovid, that that institution is actually delivering evidence-based healthcare. And that is not true at all. Just because you deliver content does not mean your healthcare providers in that institution are using it appropriately and then evaluating what they're doing. So why should we even use evidence-based practice today? Well, the research is very clear about it. We know that using evidence-based practice leads to the highest quality care and patient outcomes across the board. And research study over research study will show you that is the truth. We also know that if you use evidence-based practice, you will actually reduce your health care costs, which is a key factor in health care today. We know that in countries who get their reimbursement based on the type of care they deliver, we know that you have increased reimbursements and you've decreased denials for your insurance claims if you actually use evidence-based practice. We also know that using evidence-based practice pretty much levels the playing field across the world of how care is delivered and the type of outcomes you would expect. Another very interesting point is that institutions that use evidence-based practice have actually better staff satisfaction and lower turnover rates. Institutions that use evidence-based practice are able to keep their talent so that they don't go off to other institutions. And that's a really important point because if you're a healthcare institution, you want to make sure you have the best of the best providing care. And here's another point. We know the public today is using the internet, they're doing searches, they want and they deserve the highest quality care. And using evidence-based practice will allow us to deliver that to them and we will meet their expectations.